Ah, World of Warcraft. Now, a lot of people, I'm sure, have made videos like this discussing that they regret their time with World of Warcraft because they got crazy addicted, they ruined their lives, they just played way too much, they lost relationships, they lost friends, they did all these different things, or they basically ignored life and only played the video game. Well, this video is a little bit different because although I have a regret playing World of Warcraft, it's for slightly different reasons that you might not expect. My name is Fanta, you're watching FantaVision, and today I'm discussing why I regret playing World of Warcraft when I did. And I gotta say, I didn't play for too, too many years in a row. It was kind of broken up throughout quite a big chunk of time, and that's due to personal life and just kind of the game going bad. I feel like this is not an unpopular opinion that Cataclysm kind of ended World of Warcraft as the pinnacle of MMOs and ended its empire of being the best MMO on the market and kind of signaled the downfall of MMOs as a whole because I feel like there really hasn't been an MMO that has ever gotten to that same peak and fervor that World of Warcraft had. So how did it all start? Funny enough, and I also feel like this is not super uncommon, but my interest in World of Warcraft really was pushed over the edge by South Park, of all things. The South Park episode that makes fun of World of Warcraft and the people that play it is what pushed me over the edge to want to try World of Warcraft. I know it must have been this big marketing thing by Blizzard, I'm sure they worked together, there was probably some handshakes and a bunch of money swapping, but I think that episode was just incredibly entertaining. And even though the episode really doesn't capture anything about the game itself, it just seemed like a fun game to get together with friends and play just like they do in the episode. Maybe not to the extreme that they did in the episode where they all gain like a thousand pounds and he's shitting into a bucket while his mom is holding it for him in the middle of a battle. I mean... Oh, that's why we loved South Park back then. I wanted to play a game with all of my buddies and have that level of cooperation and World of Warcraft looked like it. Now, when I first started playing, it was not really on the Blizzard server. So I tried the trial and I went, this game is fun, but I don't want to spend 15 bucks a month. And I also didn't really know anybody at the time that was super interested in playing the game. So I just played private servers. I played a small little private server called Toxic Wow, which doesn't exist anymore. I'm sure most private servers from back when I played don't exist anymore since Blizzard just shuts them down and the communities also kind of just tear themselves apart anyway, even if Blizzard wasn't shutting them down. And I just played casually and had a great time. It had increased XP rates. It let you have your own life because I didn't join any crazy raiding guild and all the people I played with were super nice. They also had this interesting thing that wasn't in real World of Warcraft where you could talk to people even if they were on the opposite faction. So I was Horde, I could talk to the Alliance people. So you didn't have to just kill each other or not communicate, you could just talk to them. And I know that might be kind of lore breaking or something like that and people might not like that, but I thought that was kind of cool at the time because I actually quested with people from the opposite faction for quite a few hours. So I had a great time when I first started playing and that was a long time ago. That was Burning Crusade when I was playing on this private server. Near the tail end of Burning Crusade is when I did start finally playing with other people at my high school and it was fun. I was having a great time. Even though I had to start paying money and that kind of sucks, it was fun to play on the actual servers and play with people since before I was just playing by myself and random people online. So now I was starting to play with people I know. And then when Lich King came out, we played so much World of Warcraft. We just started LAN parties, we had pizza. And ironically, this is when like my social life was like starting to like peak like I had just started dating for like the first time I was a late bloomer okay I had no interest in dating people and then when I hit I think it was like 16 17 I was like all right fuck it I'll get a girlfriend and that was when I first started playing wow too which is very interesting I started playing land parties and staying up till 3 a.m with friends actually earlier than that probably like 5 6 a.m with friends playing world of warcraft and also dating at the same time. Normally those things also don't go hand in hand. So I had more of a social life 
when I started playing World of Warcraft than before I played World of Warcraft. Strange. So yeah, like I said, my regrets aren't the same as most people. Well, the regret really begins when my friends started kind of going at each other. Now, I'd met a lot more people through World of Warcraft, and we had these pretty big LAN parties with like almost 10 or 12 people all playing World of Warcraft. Now, we weren't all playing together. They were kind of like subsections of people playing together, but there started rifts and fights, and people started leaving the group because some were leveling faster than others, some people were just taking it too seriously, sometimes they'd roll for things that somebody else needed. It was like really stupid, petty shit that you think, like, who cares, it's just a video game, but World of Warcraft is one of those games where people just sink their life into it. That's another reason why I regret playing World of Warcraft, because I brought other friends into it, and some of those friends started making it their life. And I essentially wasn't able to hang out with these people anymore. In fact, on multiple occasions, I would hang out with some of these people where it just took over their life. In the middle of hanging out, they would just abandon the rest of the friend group because they wanted to play World of Warcraft. Or I couldn't hang out with as much or they couldn't join our get togethers as much because they had to raid or do something else that was on their schedule in World of Warcraft. Not in the real world. They were the ones that were sacrificing their social life for the video game. I never expected to lose friends because people got so addicted like a drug that they would only play World of Warcraft. Also, another reason I, I really regret playing World of Warcraft is because during this time, it was really the only video game I was playing. Like occasionally I'd play Call of Duty or something like that, but most of the time, that's what I was playing was World of Warcraft. So I missed out on so many great game releases between like 2007 and like 2009. So there were like two years, two, three years where I was just not playing anything else. And I just, I missed out, you know? I wish I'd played a lot more variety of games than just playing World of Warcraft. Because in essence, when you're playing World of Warcraft, it's the same thing over and over and over. You're doing dungeons, you're leveling up, and then you get a high enough, you know, you max out your level, you've beaten all the stuff, and then now you're doing raids and you're just trying to get your gear level higher. And it's, it's like the end game of Diablo kind of, I'm already gonna say a bunch of stuff that people are gonna disagree with me, but when you get to the end game of a lot of these big games, the end is just a grind. And that's exactly what happened with World of Warcraft. Or you create a new character and you do the whole damn thing again. And that's what we kept doing. We kept creating new characters, we were raiding, we were doing all these different things. And it was just sucking up all of our free time into something that just, you know, the quests were go here, kill this many things, go collect this, go talk to that guy. I mean, if you really look at the basic structure of most MMOs, the gameplay is kind of bland. It's just you kind of get caught up in the addictive elements of leveling and playing with all these different people that are also on at the same time doing the same generic quests over and over and over. And yeah, there are lots of parts that are really fun and boss fights where you have to strategically plan how you do skills and you have to have people that are working together and communicating. That's all fun. But still, a lot of the game is very repetitive and it makes me wish I'd been playing other things during this time. Another reason I kind of regret playing World of Warcraft is because it's a game that I sunk all of these hours into, but if I ever wanted to play it again, I have to spend $15 just to see what my characters were at, what I was doing, and then I have to buy the newest expansion so I can catch up and do different things. And also the game just kind of died after Cataclysm. Like there were a couple, I guess, okay expansions after that. I'm sure some people have said the newest expansion is one of the better ones, but there's so much more monetization and crap that they've put into this game that I don't want to play it again, which makes me feel like I wasted all of those hours. I mean, other MMOs that I dumped a ton of hours into, I don't regret like RuneScape because I can just pick that game up whenever I want and play that character. Yeah, if I want to do the member quests and skills that I was working on before, I have to pay a membership fee, but there's plenty of free stuff that I didn't play and I can at least look at my character and interact with my game other than just paying money. Whereas World of Warcraft, I gotta spend like, what, 40 bucks? I gotta get the newest expansion and then I have to get my time and then I can play the game. And that's just ridiculous. And you could argue, you know, you could play just the classics, you know, but they have basically pay to win elements in that as well, which they said they would never do. And Blizzard just keeps dropping the ball with World of Warcraft and every other release to the fact that they, they somehow went back in time and ruined vanilla all the way up to Lich King in their classic servers by including those 
basically pay to win elements by letting you buy gold and it just it just saddens me and i understand that a lot of these different private servers let you do the same thing you can buy gold or different items but i'm not paying anything to play those games and i would argue at this point world of warcraft should be free to play and then you either pay for the expansions or you just keep that crazy monetization it's crazy to me that this has somehow become the most expensive MMO to play. You have to pay 15 bucks a month, then you have to pay to buy the newest expansion, and then there's a ton of microtransactions on top of that. It just is absurd to me that this game has fallen as far as it has. When I was playing at my peak Lich King, there were no microtransactions. Yeah, it still had those other two monetization elements, but it didn't feel nearly as painful as oh, I'm going to open the game and oh, there's a store just chock full of thousands of items. And if I want that mount instead of earning it, I just pay for it. That's that's not fun. And because the game died again, it just makes it sad that I dumped all of those hours into something that essentially was for nothing. And you could say that about a lot of video games, but this one's still going on. So it's like it's there as like a disappointment, like of what could have been. And the fact that you also have to pay money to access it is just stupid. So during my peak of World of Warcraft, I had friends that I just lost due to infighting in the friend group and also lost them due to essentially them giving their souls over to World of Warcraft and I never really saw them again and I didn't talk to them because they made friends with people online and stopped socializing with people in their real life. And also later on, years after I'd quit World of Warcraft, I think it was around expansion, this one, I had, it was my girlfriend at the time, but she, again, just like people in my friend group, would just disappear for like, I lived with her and she disappeared essentially from my life for weeks because she just let herself get addicted to this game. And she was just playing online with all of her guild and raiding constantly. So it's more of a regret World of Warcraft existing than playing it. Cause at that time, like I tried to play with her again and she just out leveled me and I couldn't keep up. And she played a lot more than I did because I wanted to do other things. And then I just barely ever saw her even though I lived with her. And that led to, I mean, there's a reason she's an ex. It's sad that a game that really could bring people together that is a lot of fun to people just neglecting their personal lives and people in their real lives to just play the video game. Like they've essentially ruined the good thing by having too much of the good thing. And it's so interesting to see kind of the parallels with drugs that I've seen in my life. Like I've lost friends to drugs and I've lost friends to World of Warcraft, not dead. Neither of those friends groups have died that I know of. It's just that they both decided, hey, these things are worth my time more than real life people. And it's sad, you know? I mean, I wish neither of those things had happened. I regret both of those things happening because those people would still be in my life. But alas, a video game took them away like a drug. And that's just insane to me. I met them through World of Warcraft, met them in person, became friends with them in person, but then lost them because they only play World of Warcraft. You know, I had a lot of fun with the game. There were lots of great times that I had, so I don't entirely hate that I played it, but I do regret that the game itself just consumed the life of the people around me and for mine for a little bit, to the fact that I missed out on a bunch of cool games that I could have experienced. I lost a bunch of friends, essentially lost a girlfriend and yeah, it's all because of World of Warcraft. And I feel like there are lots of people out there that have very similar stories. I would love to hear it down below. Please let me know how World of Warcraft has affected your life. I remember it was one of the first games where people started calling video game addiction like a real thing. Like, oh, this is something we have to worry about. We have to start regulating video games like a drug, which is just absolutely ridiculous. People just need to have self-control. And yeah, just let me know what you guys think down below, how it's affected you. Please like the video if you guys liked it, subscribe for more content, and as always, have a phantom-tastic day. See you, everybody.